My name is Kim Montour, and my son started with the Boys and Girls Club Kid Stop program last summer. So he's been doing it for yeah, a little over a year now. The wonderful thing about it is during the summer, you know, sometimes single moms, we don't always have time to take our kids out and go do things. Um, but they would take him on field trips. He would get exercise. Also in the summer, you know, they started education with him. So he kind of had an idea of what kindergarten was going to bring. Um, so that was wonderful. And then during the school year, the Boys and Girls Club Kids Stop program, he goes to the after school program. So, you know, he comes home happy. He's been hanging out with his friends for a few hours. Um, and he's, he's just a happier kid because he gets so much um, interaction with other kids. He's not just at home with mom. So I actually work for Centric Care Health. And what I normally do is patient scheduling, kind of like patient, patient access. But since COVID started, we've actually been the front line for COVID questions. So when patients call in, they actually um, they reach us in my department and we get them to the nurse or we get them scheduled, things like that. So my job has actually changed quite a bit since COVID started. Um, so I'm definitely on the front lines. And I was very nervous that I wouldn't be able to do my job because it's hard to have a job as a single mom. And then also you have to have your child home all day. You have to make sure they get their schoolwork done. Um, so uh, the Boys and Girls Club, they emailed me right away to let me know that I could use their services as a healthcare worker. And I'm so grateful for it because one, I did not have to worry about doing his um, distance learning. They did it for him. They helped him with it. So he was successful as far as distance learning went. I know a lot of other parents had issues with that. I did not have to worry about that at all or stress about it. So I could really focus on my job during the day. I had no worries about my son. I knew he was in capable hands. I knew he was getting education. So I could focus on being on that front line. Um, and I just, I don't know what I would have done without the services of the Boys and Girls Club during COVID at all. Right now they're doing virtual field trips, which he really loves. Um, also he gets exercise, they, they do uh, just dance uh, and he loves it. He wants to do it at home now. So I mean, exercising is, is good. So I love that he wants to dance at home. Um, also it helps during the summer because they have, you know, education they help him with. So he's not gonna go back to school in the fall forgetting everything, you know. Um, and I'm so busy, sometimes I can't, I can't do that educational type stuff with him all the time. So I think that's the most important thing to me, is that he's going to go back to school and he's still going to be prepared for school. It's not going to be a big change. I really want to give a big thank you to anyone who has supported the Boys and Girls Club, especially during this COVID-19 outbreak. It's meant so much for us parents to be able to stay on those front lines and not have to worry about our children. Um, they're in good hands and we know that. Um, you know, I also just want to ask you guys if you could please consider making a generous gift um, to fund the need uh, for, you know, supporting the Boys and Girls Club. They're doing everything they can to help support our community during COVID-19 and it would be much appreciated.